Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and as promised, I'm back to do a luxury niche fragrance haul, which means that these fragrances are made by houses that just do fragrance. And so what I'm gonna do today is the higher end niche fragrances. There also are some niche fragrances like at Sephora, like um, Beach Walk and Ellis, and those are niche fragrances too. So I'm gonna do those in a separate one just because I already have so much here. So here we go. Starting with the first one, the Parfum de Marly Delina. This, I have never heard so much about one fragrance ever in my life, but I've never probably paid this much attention. So I showed you in one of my videos, maybe week before last, I had gotten the Delina Hair Perfume, which is just an excellent way to try that perfume. You get such a good vibe off of that perfume. It is like nothing you've ever smelled. And honestly, I can't believe that I like it because it's not really my vibe. It's very uh, rose floral. That rhubarb just gives a punch, kick, all those things that I typically don't like. But I think when you have just the hair perfume and you don't put it on very heavy, I noticed that I loved it during that video. And then as the day went on, I caught myself like wanting to smell my hair where it was, where I had sprayed it in the ends. And that's how it is. It's like at first spray, you're thinking, oh my God, I can't believe everybody likes this. Cause it's not, it doesn't have a deepness to it to me. It does, it does. But the sharpness and the rose really stands out the most. But you can't help but like it cause it's so different than anything you've ever smelled to me. So I wanted to get another one that, one of the real popular ones. So what I ended up doing is buying the, and this was, I bought this during that sale, the Mother's Day sale from Bloomingdale. So I got 10% off. And I got the Delina La Rose. And so it comes in this frosted bottle instead of the solid pink. And I have worn this because a lot of these I'm not going to be able to tell you much about. But this one is much lighter, fresher, um, not as punchy as the regular Delina, but it still has that same very, very, very unique smell. I think it's the lychee and the rose, and it's just this house, this, the Parfum de Marly. They have a special, I think, I think a lot of fragrance brands do. They have their own like background scent that you will recognize because when I purchased another one of these, I purchased it from the, one of the girls that I always work with at Saks, and she sent me a sample of the Parfum de Marly Cassili and the Parfum de Marly, um, it's the one in the, oh gosh, I'm gonna forget it, the one in the pink, like the hot pink bottle, and I wore that yesterday, and even though it is so different, I still could tell it was a Parfum de Marly. So these are so worth trying. They're expensive, so what I recommend you do is buy one of the small bottles, the hair mist, the you know body lotion, something like that, because that will give you a pretty good vibe of if you like this. And I know that you can buy like decants of fragrances. I think like um, Twisted Lily might do decants of these, just from what I've heard. I haven't done that, but luckily I got some samples, so okay, I know. So the next fragrances I got that I was gonna show you are by Byredo. The first one is Gypsy Water. This one is one of those that's just, I felt like it was just like, like I said, like Estee Lauder Double Wear. It was just something I needed to have, I wanted to try. I knew I wasn't going to not like it. And Brooke was curious about this. So I feel like you guys know Gypsy Water is just a really clean scent. Oh my gosh, it really smells good. And when I knew I really was going to probably like this, maybe not love it, but like it is when I kept hearing that a lot of hotels will use this, these fancy hotels will use it in their bathrooms. So I knew it must be a pretty 
you know, people pleasing scent. So Gypsy Water by Barreto. And I just looked these up on Fragrantica, but you can go on their websites and get a much more in detail. Okay, woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, citrus, powdery, amber, vanilla, balsamic, warm, spicy. So you can see why this is my idea of a fresh scent. It's not necessarily green. It's just fresh, but I think that woody, the spicy, the powdery, the amber, the vanilla make it creamy. And that's, that's pretty much sums up what I want in an everyday no scent scent. Do you okay. guys like seeing the boxes when I do this? If not, I might throw the boxes away. A lot of times I'll spray the fragrance on the box. Oh my goodness. When I get it. This one, okay. When I just smelled that, it made me have butterflies and it made me instantly feel happy. There is, it's just amazing what a scent will do to your mood. This one is Byredo Sundazed. One of these, no, it was when I got a pair, the last pair of my Gucci flip-flops, the white ones. I bought them from my friend at Saks and she sent me some samples and this was one of them and I loved it immediately. I wore it for like two days and I loved it. I'm always looking for these type of scents, the floral, beachy scents and I think, you know, I'm gonna do some videos on beachy and summer scents because not all of them are coconut. Not all of them are floral. Not all of them are gourmand. They're kind of broken up. Okay, the Sundays is citrus at the top, sweet, white floral, caramel, fresh. Sundays by Barreto is a citrus fragrance for women and men, I agree, launched in 2019. Okay, top notes are mandarin orange, Californian lemon, middle notes are neroli, jasmine, sambac, cotton candy, and white musk. So you can see how it's got those citruses and then the orange, you know, orangey and jasmine with that cotton candy and the musk. So it rounds it out and it gives it that good crust. It's, oh, it is like summer pie, summer sunshine pie. It is so good. So let's move on to Louis Vuitton. I do not think I've ever had a Louis Vuitton fragrance, but when I was watching, I think it was Sebastian, I, I did end up listing those channels down below in my last video of the different fragrance people I've been watching, but when I first started watching fragrance videos, I heard him talk about this fragrance. I had my friend at Saks go smell it for me and try to get me a sample, but they did not have a sample. And she wrote me back or texted me back and said that it was very citrusy. So I was like, okay, I don't know if that's what I'm gonna like because some citrus fragrances are just too citrusy for me. But I ended up going for it and oh my goodness, I love it. So it's Louis Vuitton City of Stars and I believe it's their one of their newest fragrances. Did order from the Louis Vuitton store. They sent me the bag that comes in. They sent me a Louis Vuitton Mother's Day card. Of course, the receipt, and then she also sent me some samples. So that was really cool. I really, really, really appreciated that. Here is the fragrance, City of Stars. Actually, you know what? I ended up ordering, I did not order this one from the Louis Vuitton store. I ordered another one that I'm gonna show you. This one I ordered from Saks. Okay, anyway, let's go on with it. So it comes in this cool box. You can get these with your initials on them and all that stuff, but I don't want that. And then here is the bottle. Isn't it beautiful? I love the simplicity of it, but I love the color. I mean, you can see why I was drawn to this. This, when I first sprayed this, I mean, this gives me butterflies too. You do smell the citruses, but they're not sharp at all. And you just, it is fresh. Let's see. Okay, the main accords, citrus, powdery, and musky, which I, I don't agree with that. But here we go with the, the um, little write-up. It was launched in 2022. The nose behind it. Okay, the top notes are lime, blood orange, blood mandarin, lemon, and bergamot. Middle notes are tiara flower, Base notes, musk, powdery notes, and sandalwood. Whenever you see that tiar, tiar or tiari flower, that is when you know it's going to have that sweet, 
beachy, that plumeria, frangipani, those flowers are going to give you that sweet, beachy, summery scent. Now, I'm going to get, definitely going to get some more fragrance vibes when we get into fall and winter, but right now I'm just concentrating on things that I can wear and try now. And I do think this is unisex. I do think it has like a sweetness to it, but I, it's not like really, really, really feminine, but it's not masculine at all. That's what I would say. And I love it. I love it. It is so pretty and I'm so glad that I didn't let the citrus notes, you know, throw me off. Do you guys keep all this stuff? Let me know in the comments if you keep this stuff. Okay, so the next fragrance I got, it's kind of funny because I asked about two of them and I thought I was getting City of Stars, but that she accidentally sent me the other one, but I ended up liking it and keeping it. So that's where the confusion comes from. So this next one I got is inspired by one of my friends on Instagram and here on YouTube. And she had this in her collection and said that she liked it. Plus, I had already heard about it, and it was, the girl at Louis Vuitton said it's their number one seller. So, it's not my typical fragrance profile, but I want to try some different things. And this scent is a Trap Rev, I think it's called, a Trap Rev, and it's very, very popular. And this has fresh floral, rose, warm, spicy, cacao, tropical, patchouli, woody, citrus. Okay, launched in 2018. Top notes are lychee, which is very popular now, ginger and bergamot. Middle notes, peony, cacao, Turkish rose, and base note, a patchouli. I like all of those, so I figured I would like it. Did I bring my little things over here? Yes, I did. Let me spray it here. I do need to get some coffee beans, but even if you have coffee beans, after you smell so many fragrances, your nose just shuts down. Okay. I didn't, I'm not wearing anything already today too, to, okay, I like this. It's totally different. I totally smell the lychee, the ginger, a little bit of the rose, the patchouli. I like patchouli at the bottom. If the patchouli is smooth and not too crazy smelling, then I like it. But, wow, this is one too that's, um, it's refreshing, not in a light way, but kind of in an uplifting way. I haven't worn it all day, so I'll have to get back with you. Today is just a haul video. I just kind of wanted you to know what I've gotten and what I'm going to be wearing. And something I'm gonna to start too is on Instagram. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on my page or my stories, but I wanna do a scent of the day, every day. Okay, so next let's go on to Coco Vanille by Mansara. I would have to say these are my two, Mansara and Montal, which are sister companies, have been my most exciting discoveries. And I love these scents. I, every one I get, I love. A lot of people say that they're a little bit more imitation, and I kind of like that. I, I like that they're just different. They're very different. They're very smooth. Everything I've gotten, I love. So Cocoa Vanille, where are you? Yes. So these come in this, you know, nice sturdy bottle. They come in this little, a box and this little case. This one, okay, Cocoa Vanille. You know what that's going to smell like. Vanilla, sweet, coconut, white floral, yellow floral, powdery, lactonic, fruity, tropical, and woody. Beautiful, beautiful. Another one from Mansara that I got is Holidays. And this isn't Holidays like it is in the US, like Christmas, Thanksgiving. This is Holiday, like in the UK when they say they're going on holiday, it's tropical. So this is sweet vanilla, coconut, white floral, yellow floral, marine. I love a marine, good marine note. Woody, powdery, aromatic, lactonic. And let's see. Top notes, coconut, bergamot, middle notes, tiara flower, ylang ylang, and C notes, base notes, vanilla pod, sandalwood, and white musk. Oh my gosh, it's so good. My mission to find the scents that I love, but in a more serious, longer lasting way, has really panned out. It has really come to fruition. I have done it. This is one of those scents. It definitely smells like a holiday. Let's see. Let's 
spray it over here. Okay, okay, this is Bronze Goddess. Upped, upped a notch, upped three notches. It has that, you know how Bronze Goddess just has that, like that to me is how I, a beautiful woman, but in a tropical, sweet, floral way, not a powdery or rosy or um, just summer. Summer, dressed up, sundress, all of that good stuff. I just love it. And the cool thing about when you order from Mansara and Montal, you can get different, like, is this Montal? Okay, I'll tell you about those in a minute. But Mansara, I ordered some of these smaller sprays. They remind me of the Bond Number no. 9. But I got some good ones. I got Velvet Vanilla, Instant Crush, Royal Vanilla, Jardin Exclusive, and I got a Holidays. I wanted another one of these in case I wanted to put it in my purse. Love it. Love these scents. This is a great, just look up on YouTube. Mansara and Montal, and you will get plenty of suggestions, and it'll just be fun. It'll be fun to get into. Okay, the Montal, if you order a full-size Montal fragrance, you've probably seen these. These come in the weird looking, um, they look, I think, I think someone said they're still glass, but they look like aluminum, and you have to take this pen out to spray them. But if you order one of these, you get to pick a small, a small one to try. I think that is so cool. So I got the first one is Intense Tiari, white floral, sweet vanilla, coconut, yellow floral, and fruity. And then with that one, I think I got Intense Cafe. That's one that you will hear about a lot. Yeah, I got Intense Cafe. I have not tried this one yet or worn it, but this one, man, people have it in there. There are so many people that have it in their favorites. This is something you hear about all the time. So that one, the Tiari, oh my goodness. Sweet, it's got that, reminds me of a gardenia. If you like gardenias, you will like the Tiari flower too. So then some people say they leave the little pins out of theirs, I think. I think that'll bug me. I won't be able to do that. The first one I ordered was this one. It's the Montal Daydreams. So let's see. White floral, citrus, vanilla, sweet, woody, powdery, coconut. Okay. Orange blossom, mandarin orange, middle notes, tiara flower, jasmine, and neroli. Base notes, vanilla, sandalwood, coconut. That sounds like a dream, doesn't it? So it comes in this beautiful bottle like this. Gorgeous, and then with this one, I got Velvet Fantasy. So that is, even though these are like luxe niche fragrances, they're not that much more than like Good Girl or any of the, you know, fragrances that you get at Ulta. So I really think that would be a line that you, if you are interested in finding something that you really like, that would be a good one. Bond number nine. I still, if I had to just pick probably one it would be in my top five fragrance houses is the Bond Number no. 9. I just love their scents so much, and I'd heard so much about Greenwich Village. So I ordered this from, I got this on sale, from that sale with Bloomingdale's. The bottle is gorgeous. I like, I heard someone say that the bottles were ugly, and I guess, I don't know, I like it. But this one is totally different. Okay, this one is fresh, floral, fruity, sweet, musky, amber, vanilla, tropical, aquatic, and powdery. One thing I like about Bond Number no. 9 fragrances is, I don't know, it's like they just create their own scent. It just, everything blends together so well. Top notes, lychee, cassis, mandarin orange, middle, peony, water lily, jasmine, base notes, umbroxan, praline, vanilla, musk, and oak moss. So you can see that's a good blend of many different notes there. So, oh my goodness. I love this. It is, now this is a fresh scent that I love. And I'm sure this is probably unisex. This is a like fresh boyfriendy summer scent to me. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to be one that you will get compliments on because it is very, very unique. This does not smell like a body spray, a lotion, or anything like that. I love it. And I love the bottle. I love I love everything about Bond Number no. 9. I've actually, I ordered um, another one. I ordered Jones Beach from a discount site. So we'll see how it goes. A lot of times you can order those and they're much less expensive and you can order testers. And you may not get the top of the bottle, but you'll still get the, you know, the, the legit fragrance. But this one, like I said, I did order on Mother's Day from that sale. And I will keep this box. I'll take it out of the box, but now that I've got some storage, I will put those boxes down there. Okay, Aqua de Parma, Blue Mediterranean. Let's see. This one is citrus, woody, fruity, sweet, fresh, spicy, and aromatic. This is another fresh summer scent. Okay, top notes, grapefruit, bergamot, citron, lemon, middle notes, fig, nectar, jasmine, pink pepper, base notes, fig tree, cedar, and benzoin. So you can see how it's going to be fresh. I think that um, bond number nine is just going to take over the room though. This is a small one. I did order this from Sephora, I believe. Sephora or Nordstrom. Yeah, citrusy without stinging. Just, oh my gosh, lemon. Lemon fresh citrusy is what I get from this. I don't get like beachy. There's, I don't, is there any coconut in it? I don't think there is. I get the cedar, but I think the fig nectar and the jasmine, yeah, and the cedar and the benzoin, that gives it a crust and gives it a base to sit on that smells really pretty. This one, if you like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, you will love this one. This is probably like the nice lasting version of that, which I haven't worn it yet, so I can't really tell you how long it lasts. And then because I have it out here, I kind of decided at the last minute not to do the Ellis ones, but Fawn. And I have heard, you know, I think it's like I've said, like wine experts and stuff, they're not going to like Strawberry Hill <laughs> wine or wine coolers or wines that have a screw off lid, you know. So I think some fragrance people get a little, I don't want to need to say uppity, but you know, they'll almost hurt your feelings, you know, and they'll say, don't at me with Dolce and Gabbana or don't even mention a suntan smelling fragrance. They don't realize that that is someone else's favorite scent or that's someone else's happiness, which we all have our opinions. And I think it just has so much to do with where you live, your experiences in life and what you love, what brings you happiness and comfort. So I know that too, but so I heard a lot of people saying this was so basic and boring, but when they described it, it described something I like, so I got it. It's the Ellis Fawn. Hmm. Okay, citrus, floral, coconut, white floral, vanilla, fresh, musky, fresh spicy, sweet and powdery. It's not real sweet. I'm getting a little bit more sweetness now. My first blast was citrus. Okay, top notes, Neroli, Magnolia, Sicil Sicilian Bergamot, Middle, Coconut Milk, Lily of the Valley, and Damask Rose. Base notes, Musk, Amber, and Vanilla. I would not really consider this a sunscreeny, beachy scent. I mean, I know it has coconut in it, but it's it, to me, it is way more citrusy smelling. Kind of like the Louis Vuitton. So I do like it, but it's not the amber and vanilla. Maybe I'll get that later. I'm getting more of the lily of the valley and the rose right now. But it's not like it's too bright for me. It doesn't sting my nose. It's not anything like that. But I think there's a lot more to it than people are saying. But anyway, and then my last one was my... Biggest, I think this is the most I've ever spent on a fragrance. I cannot even remember, but I remember it took me a long time for me to order it, and I watched many, many, many videos. Santel Complete by Fragrance Dubois. 
and they sent me some samples to go with it. I ordered it straight from their website because if I'm gonna spend that much money, I want to know I'm getting the exact thing I want and I want a fresh one. And it comes like this. You can tell this is serious stuff here. And this is powdery, woody, vanilla, coconut, sweet, amber, musky, warm, spicy, citrus, and violet. Okay. From 2016, top notes are coconut and lemon. Sorry about the barking. We have two dogs back here that like to play. Middle notes are violet and black pepper. Base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and musk. And I will tell you the person who sealed the deal with this one. There was two girls that I watched that said this was like one of their best fragrances they've ever smelled. They would go to a fragrance convention and wear this and know they smell just as good as anybody in there, all this stuff. It was Demi Rawling and, I had to look it up, I forgot, Erin Nicole TV, which you guys know Erin Nicole. She does lots of makeup videos, but she's really into fragrance too, and she has an extensive high-end niche collection. So between the two of them, I ordered this, and I have not worn it, and I'm afraid it's... Like even opening it, you smell a deepness to it. And I do think that it's a more serious, complex scent than these. So let me spray it. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, coconut, lemon, middle notes or violet. I do smell some violet for sure. And then I smell the sandalwood, the amber, and the musk. And the coconut is not like a luau, tropical coconut. It is more of a serious coconut. And I think this will be good for summer nights. This kind of reminds me, it's not the same at all, but it gives me the same summer vibe as Jennifer Lopez, Miami Glow. You know how there's almost like a... It isn't this, but this is the vibe. Almost like someone is smoking a cigar nearby. That's how this makes me feel. Like it's got that Cuban or Miami tropical vibe to it. It's just that sexier, deeper summer scent. So I don't regret getting it. And I think this is gonna be an amazing scent even in the winter and the fall. So that that is some serious presentation there. That is my only fragrance Dubois, and I haven't heard of any other ones that I'm interested in, but this one just got some amazing, amazing reviews, so I'm glad I tried that. So I think that wraps it up for today. If you are someone who is not interested in spending this much money, I totally understand. I wouldn't either if I didn't do YouTube and didn't want to do fragrance videos, reviews, and I want to do things like a signature scent video. I want to do my favorite coconut fragrances. I want to do my favorite tropical, you know, break up the summer scents into fruity florals and gourmands, things like that. So I understand that I'm going to be purchasing more than the average person, but I want you to know that I have many over there that have thrilled me more than some of these that I bought from Amazon, Fragrance Buy, Fragrant, Fragrance X, Walmart, that are just older fragrances that are treasures, especially, oh, there's one of them that has probably thrilled me the most that I will share with you soon. So there will be something for everyone here. I've even gone to Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret and bought some body sprays to try. So I do not plan on stopping and I hope that you'll be here with me. If not, I definitely plan on continuing my regular videos. I think Monday I'm either going to do a get ready with me or an empties video. You'll have to let me know. So I'll be right back with my outfit. Okay, so today I have on one of those dresses from Zara. I will say this is a medium. So I would size up, maybe size up two, if you don't want it to be this body hugging. I'm thinking I might order the large and just see how it fits. The only thing is I'm worried that this will be too big, but I do like it. And I just wanted to tell you that I would size up 
And then I do have on these little shoes that I love so much from Gianni Beanie. They're the clear with the cork heel. And this is my outfit of the day. I just took it out of the box to use it today. So that is the exact look I wanted from this. Okay, and I did get my hair done yesterday and she did the greatest blowout, but this piece kept flipping in my face and I didn't wanna get on y'all's nerves, so I just pinned it back. Okay, earrings, I have on the medium studs from Dean Davidson, the same necklace that I love, my wolf ring, and my regular watch, and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave me any ideas down below for fragrance videos or ones that you want me to try. I have been buying several that you guys are saying that are your favorites, and I'm gonna do a different video on that too. So I'll see you soon, bye-bye.